Assalamu alaikum Sira Masters. Um, yeah, I missed last week's video. Um, I pretty much, I don't have anywhere to film anymore. Uh, transition mode again, so. Um, but I just had to get this video out this week, so. Uh, I'm Amin with Sira Masters, helping you develop the Muslim mindset for success. And what I wanted to speak about this week is um, waiting until that next thing happens. Um, you know, a lot of us, we think, okay, when I finish my studies, I'll do this. When I finish, um, you know, when I get promoted, I'll do this. And that's just a trap, really. You've got to live um, in the moment. If you want to, you know, memorize the Quran, you have to start memorizing it uh, now. You know, you have to find a way to fit that into your timetable now. If you want to become, uh, you know, really fit and healthy, start eating well, start exercising regularly, you have to find a way to do that now. Because whenever that next step that you're waiting for comes, again, it's going to be an equal struggle to do it. Um, and yeah, about, you know, 15% of the time something, that next step makes it easy. But if you can't do it now, you won't be able to do it. Um, you'll struggle to do it and then after that next step comes. So, um, you know, a lot of people, they, you know, this is the kind of the industrial revolution kind of style of thinking is that when I, you know, I'll work my, you know, butt off um, until I'm, you know, 60, I'll retire, then I'll live life. And so you just wasted 60 years, you know, like, what was the point? You, you use 60 years um, in order to, you know, to enjoy 20 years. It doesn't make sense. Um, as for us Muslims, you know, we work in this life. Um, until and then the next life is much more than whatever we're gonna live here 70 years So 70 years of work for unlimited time of pleasure in, in Jannah inshallah, so um, You know don't be surprised if you, you're not chilling someday on earth You know that's just how life is and those that have you know some people they work very intensely on a company They build their own company. They work 80 80 hours 100 hours a week um, and after five years, you know, they sell it and they get a lot of money out of it and they think this is it, you know, this is what I've been waiting for, this is what I've been working for so intensely and they even, they harm their uh, health and everything doing it only to find that when they sell that company, they got loads of money in their bank account, they go to the beach island to just chill and do what, this is what they were working for basically, this is what they compromised on so many things for so they could live this life on the beach after a week of being on the beach, I realized this, this sucks, you know, because humans, you know, we need to do rewarding work. Um, we need to work, okay? And, uh, you know, like, like uh, Allah says in the Quran, وَمَا لِلْإِنسَانِ إِلَّا مَا سَعَى You know, a human will not get uh, uh, as much uh, unless they work for it. What They'll get only what they work for. Um, so if you want Jannah, you work for it. If you, if you want something in the dunya, if you want uh, that freedom of time or you want better health, you gotta work for it today. Um, and so, yeah, those people, they, they get on the beach, they're chilling, um, and then they realize, look, I mean, I need to work, I guess. You know, I need to work. And so, you know, if you're at work, you don't really enjoy it, just know a human needs to work. And this is part of uh, living a rewarding life. You know, you, you might, obviously you might want to change the type of work you're doing. Um, you can work towards that from today, uh, whether that's by getting the skills or, you know, planning something, planning a venture or something like that. Uh, but don't just wait and say, then that comes, life will be good. No, you have to do something today because, of course, you know, you can die as well. So if we're, we're talking purely on a deeds basis, you can't say, I'll memorize the Quran when this happens because you could die. And so even if you're memorizing very little, um, be on that journey of memorizing or seeking knowledge or whatever it is. And then with the intention that when, when that next step comes, you'll up, up the levels, right? But right now you're doing something even if it's minimal. So get on the path. Okay, get on the path of the pious people. You know, you you you, you know, you can't pray one hour every night. Qiyam al -Layl. We'll we'll try just two rakas, um, two rakas before before fajr. You know, whatever or after Aisha, whatever you can do now. Um, it's always about the now. Don't delay until until afterwards. Uh, this is my message um, for this week. Uh, humans have to work, so find rewarding work uh, that will better the world and and better your akhirah. And um, 
you know don't don't think when that comes I'll do it no start doing it even if a little bit um, right now uh, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah and hopefully soon I'll be back on those regular videos where I'll have somewhere to film and stuff like that so uh, assalamu alaikum Thanks for watching that video, hope you enjoyed it. If you're interested in how to design your mindset and design your lifestyle as a Muslim so you can get everything you want done, then make sure you subscribe to this channel for at least weekly videos and check out the website right there where you can download free mindset resources and look at our blog with all the articles and stuff there. Uh, check it out and uh, see you.